Anxiety is so common right now that it's easy to forget that it's not normal. But there are several things that you can do that can help improve your symptoms starting right now. Of course, if you're having anxiety that's interfering with your ability to function, to spend time with your family, to get work done, to sleep, then you should talk to your doctor or a therapist because sometimes you might need additional assistance and there's nothing wrong with that. It should be treated the same way that diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol are treated. And we have lots of options for therapy, but starting right now, there are a lot of things that you can try that can help improve your symptoms. So let's review that. Number one, practicing mindfulness. Doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing, but having the ability to take even 10, 15 minutes a day, broken up throughout the day, whatever you need to do, to just focus on being present in the moment where you are, breathing, meditating, and there's lots of different options available. There's plenty of free apps as well. This can have tremendous benefit in your ability to move more freely throughout the day, to really gain more of a focus and intentionality on what is going on in your life, and to just give yourself, quote, literally a mental breather so that you can go about your day with uh, more of a resolve and a focus and, and enthusiasm and eagerness to get things done that you need to get done, to have more energy to spend with your family and your friends and really have more clarity in what's important. Number two is exercise. Exercise is very important, obviously, for the physical benefits in terms of heart health, blood pressure, weight management, but there are lots of psychological benefits to exercise as well. And even if it's just getting outside for 15 minutes just to take a walk or go for a run, however you structure your exercise, doing exercise for the specific purpose of exercise alone and not in order to go catch a train on your way to work has tremendous ability to separate you from whatever else is going on in your life and just allowing you to focus specifically on yourself, both in the moment and in the future, because you're investing in yourself now and later on down the road and just finding ways to incorporate activity that brings you joy or wellness or happiness is gonna provide you with lots and lots of benefit. Number three is intentionality and focus. This is important because it allows you to maintain control in your anxiety because anxiety is often most scary and difficult when things start to spiral and you have this loss of control. So by planning out your day ahead of time or prepping your meals in advance or knowing what you need to incorporate for yourself, what you need to get done for work, etc., allows you to have more of that power and control. If you can take your entire workday and split it into small chunks and focus only on that chunk that's in front of you, whether it's 20 minutes or an hour, you really have a lot more control and understanding and power and clarity over what needs to get done and how you can do that. And you don't have to find yourself worrying about seven other things because you've scheduled those in advance and you know that you can get to them when they're scheduled at that time frame. And you only allow yourself to work in these small chunks and that can sometimes help. Next is sleep. This is something that I don't always get much of and that many people don't and they often take for granted. But sleep is so important to allow you to have the mental reserve to move through your day and accomplish different challenges as they present that you can't foresee. And one easy thing that you can do is making sure that you have a bedtime routine before you go to bed so that you start to wind down so that you can approach bedtime and when you finally lay down, your mind doesn't begin to race because you don't want sleeping to be the first time that you actually start to process what's happened during the day. If you're running from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. So have a specific bedtime routine without electronics, without television, without loud bright lights to slowly soothe your way into bedtime so that you can have a more restful, restorative sleep. And finally, just doing something fun for yourself for the purpose of your own benefit and not for growing, not for anything else. For me, it's coming out before anybody wakes up and getting to spend time walking around and you really get to be in your own thoughts and just enjoy the beauty of nature and of life. But it, for you, it could be whatever it is. And even five minutes closing your eyes by yourself can bring you that joy of just doing it and breathing by yourself. But with exercise, with a good sleep routine, with intentionality in everything that you're doing, whether it's eating and being focused specifically on eating and in the presence and the joy of all the smells and the textures, or of walk, taking a quick walk or spending time with your dog or your family, whatever it is, these essential tips together will allow you to take more control over everything that's in your life and feel that you have control and that anxiety doesn't take control of you.